Morning YouTube, welcome back to another video. Uh, it's early, it's breakfast time, just having a coffee and a little treat. It's gonna fit in with the rest of what I'm eating today. It has to, a chocolate croissant. I wanna fill you in on what's been going on, what's been happening and what's coming up. So stay tuned. What's going on everybody? How are things? Quick update on what's been going on in my training circle recently. Um, I'm going to be hitting you with the three minute power PB in just a minute. I just need to speak about a couple of things before we jump into that to add a bit of context. So the last like, I'd say the last week, week and a half have been really good in terms of me making and maintaining weight. It's not been easy. Um, I don't think it ever is. We don't often see it at this level of the sport, but I've certainly been knuckling down and like not really showing you that much because to be honest I just get into so much detail sometimes it's just not worth it but if you want to hear about that sort of stuff let me know I'll certainly include it in a video we've got two weeks to go now to the the British Hill Climb Championships training's been going super uh, last well yesterday I did that three minute test and then I did two two and a half minute efforts uh, in the evening I was a bit short on time so I had to kind of cram it in but things have been going so well and we've been having like as some of you have seen we've been having like power PBs on top of power PBs like it's almost I, and I said over a month ago I said during this phase I'm probably going to be having like any week would be a breakthrough week any week I'll just be getting better and better and there's still a couple of changes to be made like there's still I've still got to make sure I'm switched on and I'm 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 in that zone and that vision to just to crush the nationals and like be on my best on that very very one day people have been asking me already like like am I am I ready for nationals I'm like no I'll be ready on the day and so like, that's where my head's just been at and like these sessions and like the results I've been having I've just been building towards that and I'm just super stoked now. So the biggest things I've been changing over the last like two weeks, like probably like obviously my calories, I'm probably eating about two to two and a half thousand calories a day, depending on the training session. Bear in mind my training sessions aren't that long now and neither are they that hard when you consider the amount of volume and workload I'm doing. Um, and, and to be honest, like some days have been really difficult. But some days I've just been crushing it and I've been like hitting my macros. I've been feeling good, I've been feeling full, I've been feeling content. Mentally, I know these next two weeks I could crack any day, but I'm just focused on the nationals now. It's like, it's almost like it doesn't matter like what happens outside of that. It's like, I'm so driven for that one day. I, I'm just, this is like Edmore's mentality, the, the version of like my power, but in mentality. I'm just ready for it and I can't wait. So I've actually been weighing every day and my weight's been coming down maybe on average like 0.2 of a kilogram every day. But I don't actually look at that, I actually look at the overall trend and the day to day doesn't really mean anything to me. That's all it does is just reassure and keeps me on the path and make sure I'm trending in the right direction. All, all of these things like sleep is probably the biggest thing I've got to be honest like I've I've been sleeping really well and my sleep has been like consistently over the eight hour mark I know all of what you're listening to now is a massive generalization of what I've been doing but I've only got a, a short amount of time to include this in a video but when things are optimized like to their nth degree it matters so much and it makes such a difference like there's a reason why I'm hitting peak performances now you know it's not it's not just come out of nowhere, do you know what I mean? So speaking of peak performances, let's quickly chat then about my three minute power test. It, to be honest, it went better than I thought it did. Initially, straight afterwards, I was like, I don't think I've done, I don't think I've done a good ride. And I realized that actually, surely if I've, if I've been seeing the number 500 on the screen a lot of the time, it must've been a decent ride, but me and Anthony took it apart because he came out for a ride. I mean, he did a five and a half minute test, which is basically the length of the climb. But this climb we used, I just used the steep section, which is about 10 and a half percent for, I don't know how long, but like for three minutes anyway. 
uh, by like trying to stick to the same uh, power the whole time, like that Magic 500. Um, which, by the way, like I don't believe is enough to win the National Champs. But I know that for me, where I started, it's a big enough like goal. Like it's a goal that I can aim for. It's not ridiculous. It's not like trying to hold 530 watts. But I know it's attainable. It's a smart goal, basically. And so if I compare the effort I did yesterday, which was 495 watts for three minutes, it was, it was, I think, six watts, five or six watts more than what I did two months ago. But it's 14 watts more than my best last year. And then it's 25 watts more than my best in 2019. So when you're talking about like trying to perform at the very top of your game, when you're already producing, well, like off the chart numbers, I, I gotta be real about it. Then the margins are extremely small. They're marginal. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm chuffed with that, knowing that that's out of competition. It was on a, a very casual Thursday morning. And I hope that in competition, I'll be able to squeeze a bit more out. But I'm under no illusion that obviously with the way things are going and going up against some of the best riders in the country at these shorter climbs, particularly, uh, they're not just good at shorter climbs, but it's definitely something they're very good at. You know, I'm, I got my back against the wall and I'm, I'm trying to make as many gains as possible to, to pull out a good result for myself, for my supporters, you guys, and, uh, and everybody else. And so this effort, like I certainly emptied the tank. I managed two and a half minutes of 500 watts. And then I started to really, really die at the end. Um, but that's positive because hopefully, you know, the, the 12th man, as they say on race day, you know, will be the crowd. And I can squeeze that out for another 30 seconds when it all comes together. So positively, we're looking good for that 500 for three minutes. I'll be absolutely stoked if we get there because that would crush my goal for this year, for this season, this hill climb. And, uh, and that's really what all, all that matters, guys. You know, whatever the result comes from that, comes from that. But we're training, we give it our best, and we get it done. So, that's the three minute effort. Whopping PB, so chuffed. And I can't wait to see what the next two weeks brings. So, to finally wrap up, I hope you've enjoyed so far. If you have, hit that like button, but, this weekend we've got another hill climb, another one, I know. It's, uh, it's up in Ramsbottom, which is just north of Manchester. And it's on the rake climb, which is pretty steep. There's, uh, there's even a handrail going up the side of it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to another race video. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Let's keep it rolling. See you in the next one.